everyone. This is Never Too Late Lesson 1, The Warm-Up. Okay, this is what I start all of my new students with. You're going to learn how to step, you're going to learn how to do a cramp roll, and you're going to learn a tap walk. And then all of these things get put together into what we use for our warm-up in our Never Too Late classes. So, a couple of things to know. Step. Seems easy, right? You're just going to step. Well, in tap dance, you want to step on your toes. You do not want to step flat-footed. In fact, in a lot of the things we're going to be doing, you're going to want to get used to staying on your toes as much as possible. Cramp rolls. What's a cramp roll? Cramp roll is step, step, heel, heel. As in you step on one foot, you step on the other foot, again, just the toes. Then you drop one heel and drop the other heel. We'll go through this nice and slow and teach you, and sometimes we'll start with the right foot, sometimes we'll start with the left foot. Tap walks. Well, it's just a walk, right? Well, it's a little different. When we do a tap walk, you're going to start with the heel of the foot and then drop the toe down to the floor. So heel, toe, heel, toe. My hand's not quite a foot, but hopefully that gives you the idea. That will be what we do going forward. Going back, you're going to step on the toe first and then drop the heel. We'll break this all down for you, and I hope you enjoy it. If you have questions, go ahead and write them in the comment. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks, everybody. Let's tap. There are three little steps you need to learn to learn this warm-up. So we're going to start off with what a step is in tap. Step, S-T-E-P, and it is when you're going to step on just the balls of your feet. So the heels do not hit the floor. You're going to change your weight and step back and forth. Now for the warm-up, we're going to make this more like a march. So you'll be kind of marching in place, changing your weight back and forth, stepping on the balls of the feet. Okay, that's a step. The next little combination you need to know is something called a cramp roll. C-R-A-M-P, roll, R-O-L-L. -L. So it's as if you have a cramp in your foot from doing this. When you do a cramp roll, you're gonna start by stepping on the right foot, then you're going to step on the left foot. Now your heels do not hit the floor because then you're going to drop the right heel and drop the left heel. So it's going to be step, step, heel, heel. Step, step, heel, heel. Step, step, heel, heel. Step, step, heel, heel. Now you want to be careful. Once you've put the toes down on the floor, you don't want to pick the foot back up again. You just want to drop the heel to the floor for that second part. A lot of times beginners will do step, step, and then they'll pick the foot up and put it down flat. That's not correct. It's just what we call a heel drop, which is just when the toes stay on the floor and the heel comes down. So that's a heel drop. Let's do a few more cramp rolls. Five, six, seven, eight, step, step, Heel, heel, step, step, heel, heel, step, step, heel, heel, step, step, heel, heel. Good. Now we are also going to do these on the left side, which means you're going to step on the left foot first, then the right foot, then drop the left heel, then drop the right heel. So that'll be step, step, heel, heel, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So that is your cramp roll. The third thing you need to learn is something called a tap walk. And we're going to be doing these in a forward direction and in a backwards direction. And they're different depending on which direction you're going. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see exactly what I'm doing with my feet. So on your tap walk, when you're going forward, you're going to put the heel down on the floor and then roll through the foot and drop the toe. Then the other foot goes heel, toe, heel, toe. Toe, heel, toe. When you're going backwards, you're going to put the toe down on the floor first, 
then drop the heel, then the other foot, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. So that's your forward and back tap walk. Now, if you are working in your living room or someplace at home, you might be on a tap board that's not very big. Some of these things that we're doing, if you were in the classroom, in the studio, I would have you traveling while you do that, meaning you would actually really move around. You might not have the benefit of having the room to do that. All of these things can be done in place as well. And I'll be sure to point out where you would be traveling if you had the room and uh, where you would be staying still or in place, not still, because you're moving your feet. Okay, so let's put this warm up together. We are gonna start with the right foot. You are gonna do 16 steps on your toes um, or kind of like, like in a march cadence. So you're going five, six, seven, eight, one, two, two eight counts worth. From here, we're gonna transition right into our cramp rolls. You're gonna go step, step, heel, heel, 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 step, step, heel, heel. So you're doing eight cramp rolls, or if you're doing your musical counts, it's gonna be four eight counts worth. From here, we're gonna do our tap walk. You're gonna do eight going forward. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're gonna go backwards seven times. So you're gonna start with the right foot. So that goes one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Instead of doing it an eighth time, you're just going to touch the toes of that left foot to the floor. And when I say touch, it means you're just putting the toes on the floor. You're not going to change your weight. You're not stepping on it. You're just touching it. The reason we are doing that is because now we are going to do the whole thing over again, starting on the left side. So you start with your 16 marches on the left foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here we go into our cramp rolls on the left side. So you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Then we're going to start our tap walks. You're going to start with the left foot and you're doing eight going forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to do seven going backwards, starting with the left foot. One, two, three, four, five, and then this is the very end. You're going to say, ta-da. You're just going to put that right foot out, um, present your arms, say, look at what I've done. It's your big finish. Okay, so let's walk through the whole thing one more time without stopping. So you have five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, cramp roll, one. Thank you. 
now we're gone. A walk we go. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Backwards, toe, heel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ta-da. Five, six, seven, eight. We march. Ta-da!